No, that makes sense now. The only crazy people to have a daily uh, show <laughs> are, are Whitney and, and Joe. So and Joe. Into, that, that makes sense. And I love that he you you really went through the trenches to get started in your in your your journey in the in the real estate syndication. And it's funny because August and I watched numerous uh, numerous of your YouTube videos, and we've learned we've gained a lot of knowledge uh, through it. But maybe you could tell us how the podcast came about, and also the amount of organization and planning oh. needed to run a daily show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely a massive a commitment. <laughs> it's a massive commitment. And what I tell people is that I overcommitted and, and I did it on purpose. Uh, and, and I did, but I didn't realize the extent of how far I was committing. I don't believe at the time, but even the level of commitment for my family also, I didn't, I don't think I could have known that up front. I tell people it's, it's all about how fast you want to get there. Like, you know, building your network as fast as you possibly can. However, uh, you know, it is not for everyone because uh, it is quite the the task. But so in the beginning, though, you know, I, I obviously I was working with Joe and I thought, OK, you know, there's no reason to recreate the wheel here. You know, I, I see what, what how it worked for him. And let's just go knock it out. Let's just let's do it. I can figure this out. Right. And it seemed that simple. However, you know, I, I went to a couple of conferences and there were two two people that I met with at dinner with at two different conferences individually. Both of them would be people probably everyone listening would know. They're very big names in our business. And both of them said, Whitney, you're 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 crazy. Why are, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> you know? And so that made me question, like, should I, should I do, you know, a daily podcast? And I, I reached out to Joe and he's like, that's why you have to do it, because it's too much work for most people. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, you know, we're going to go figure this out. Let's, let's just go do it. Right. Uh, and so, but what I learned and, and kind of even at a high level that I think is very helpful to, to others is that by over committing, I knew that I could not do all the tasks. I could not do the audio editing, the video, the show notes, the posting to the website. The, I mean, all those things, finding guests, I mean, to say the least, uh, you know, I, I personally, there's no way that I could do all those things. And if I had been doing a weekly show, I would have tried to have do, done all those things personally. I would have gotten behind. It would have been halfway done. I mean, I would have gotten frustrated, maybe quit, right? But by knowing that I'm going to be doing seven days a week, I had to build a team. And so from the very beginning, I mean, it just wasn't even an option, right? So from the very beginning, I had a team of four virtual assistants from all over the world. I had another VA that was, that was in the States that helped me to manage all those people. All the people in other countries had like job specific things they were really good at, like audio editing or video editing or, you know, different things like that. And so then this person in the States helped me to manage that and also help find guests also. And so I had to build that team. But what would happen is I was working uh, like every other Monday, I was off work for my federal agent position. And those Mondays, my team knew that I needed to record at least 12 to 15 shows. And so I would record some days, 15 shows back to back to back to back as hard as I could go. Uh, we, my family, we called it my marathon day. It was, it was just insane, honestly. Uh, but, but that's, you know, my mentality was just like, okay, if that's what it takes, like, let's just get it started, right? Let's just, let's move forward. <laughs> let's not focus on how difficult it's going to be. And that's what we had to do. And so it, it made me build systems and processes from the very beginning, because right? I knew it, it couldn't work any other way. There, it just was not an option not to have good systems. I and mean, we, we started with two months ahead. I mean, we started with 60 days worth of shows before we ever launched, because I expected Expected there to be hiccups, right? Expected there to be things in the, within the team that oh somebody quits or or we messed up about this. We need a weeks to a weeks worth of time to catch up. And so you know there were just some planning that obviously had to take place. Um, but and it took me yeah a few months obviously just to get launched because of the the structures that had to be in place. And now you're up to over a thousand shows. You said yeah. Now we're our thousandth show will come out in about a week and a half. I think. Great. Congrats. Wow. Yeah, that's really, really incredible. Good for you, because um, you're educating a lot of people out there, <laughs> including myself. Right? I mean, that that's something people don't realize. I mean, I'm I get to you know, especially in the very beginning, I got to ask all the experts any question that say my I or my team had. Right? Yeah, I mean, interviewing yeah. all these people. What do you think we're going to talk about if if we have something going on? I have questions about. Yes. You know, yeah. we're so gonna, that's the amazing part about being a host. Yes, we're going to get into that as well. To, yeah, to discuss that, but. definitely. <laughs> and my next, I wanted to kind of, with your podcast, obviously, the real estate syndication show, it, it, the name couldn't be more descriptive. Um, but the podcast is focused on a very specific type of investing, the, the, this concept of real estate, real estate syndicated investments. Um, 
what was I just going to say, or what we yeah. call it here at yeah. CPI, real estate, private, private equity. equity. Exactly. Yes. Um, so what was, what was it about this particular topic that motivated you to start a podcast dedicated to it? There wasn't one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there, it was hard to find information about the, about the syndication business or, uh, you know, syndicating commercial real estate. It's hard to find great educational content. There's a lot more now than there were a few years ago, but, but still at that time it was hard to find. And, and I needed to niche down. I knew that to really create a great following, you know, a, a group of followers who, you know, love what you're doing and just follow everything you're doing. The, the further you can niche down, the better. I mean, I even thought about, you know, just doing one type of, of commercial real estate, you know, and calling it the multifamily syndication show. Uh, but then doing so many shows, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find enough guests uh, right. So, um, so, but, uh, you know, having it just about syndication allows me to stand out just, you know, in that industry. Right. Uh, and people that are listening knows that's, that's who we're focusing on, you know, passive investors and operators that are in the commercial real estate space. 